Egzamin maturalny z języka angielskiego. Poziom podstawowy. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie teksty do zadań od pierwszego do trzeciego. Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz dźwięk. W nagraniu przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z poleceniami oraz treścią zadań sygnalizowane dźwiękiem. Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania w trakcie słuchania nagrań oraz w czasie przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. Everybody loves the delicious food which you can buy from a food truck parked in the street. But what if you're at sea? In that situation, you might want to check out the pizzeria run by Sam Brown. He's with us today. Sam, how did it all start? Hello. My wife and I went on holiday to the Caribbean. We loved the white beaches and coral reefs so much that we decided to stay in the Caribbean for good. We bought a little beach cottage. And to earn a living, we opened a pizzeria. But our pizzeria has no address because it's on a boat. Wouldn't it be easier to work on the beach? Well, renting a pizzeria on the beach turned out to be too expensive. But one day, I saw an old boat in a port. I got it for free from the owner because it was in really poor condition and the engine didn't work. I fixed the engine myself and renovated the boat. I also installed a special ventilation system, a pizza oven and fridges, and here we are. Who are your customers? People who live on their boats and don't want to cook. Most of them just sail up to us, form a kind of a queue to give their orders, and then just pick the pizza up. And how about the customers who can't get to you? There are not many of them, but they can order our pizzas by radio, phone or email. And then my wife takes the food to them in our small motorboat. Unfortunately, we only have a license to serve people who are on boats on the sea. So, if you are, for example, on the beach, we can't deliver to you. And the last question. What are your opening hours? We're usually open from noon till midnight. We never work longer hours, even on Saturdays. And from September to November, we close earlier. So it's best to check the opening times. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Everybody loves the delicious food which you can buy from a food truck parked in the street. But what if you're at sea? In that situation, you might want to check out the pizzeria run by Sam Brown. He's with us today. Sam, how did it all start? Hello. My wife and I went on holiday to the Caribbean. We loved the white beaches and coral reefs so much that we decided to stay in the Caribbean for good. We bought a little beach cottage, and to earn a living we opened a pizzeria. But our pizzeria has no address because it's on a boat. Wouldn't it be easier to work on the beach? Well, renting a pizzeria on the beach turned out to be too expensive. But one day I saw an old boat in a port. I got it for free from the owner because it was in really poor condition and the engine didn't work. I fixed the engine myself and renovated the boat. I also installed a special ventilation system a pizza oven and fridges, and here we are. Who are your customers? People who live on their boats and don't want to cook. Most of them just sail up to us, form a kind of a queue to give their orders, and then just pick the pizza up. And how about the customers who can't get to you? There are not many of them, but they can order our pizzas by radio, phone or email, and then my wife takes the food to them in our small motorboat. Unfortunately, we only have a license to serve people who are on boats on the sea.
So, if you are, for example, on the beach, we can't deliver to you. And the last question. What are your opening hours? We're usually open from noon till midnight. We never work longer hours, even on Saturdays. And from September to November, we close earlier. So it's best to check the opening times. Zadanie drugie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. One. Well, Big Rig is advertised as a truck racing game in which players have to transport cargo across the U.S., avoiding the police and going faster than other drivers. But there were only three old trucks to choose from, and they looked silly. And what's more, when I started driving, the truck next to me didn't move off the starting line, so actually I had no competitors during my race. What a waste of time! Two. For 100 years, our company has been offering cars to rent for holidays, adventures, races and more. To celebrate this anniversary, we're giving four people the chance to drive one of the most expensive cars in the world, our Maserati Levante, for free. Why don't you give it a try? All you need to do is send a cool photo of yourself driving a car to photos at carsforrent.co.uk by the 18th of September. The four best photos will win the prize. Three. Do you want to feel like a racing car driver? Whichever type of car you like best, a classic car, a Formula One racing car or a luxury car, you'll find them in the options. The best part is that more and more cars are being added to the selection, so you'll never run out of options. You can also choose your favourite racing track and add special features when you score points. The graphics are excellent, so you will feel like you are right behind the wheel. Four. May I have your attention, please? Here's some important information for all competitors. Remember that you must remain in your cars at all times. Anyone driving into other cars or into the barriers on purpose will be removed from the competition. If you need help, drive to the side, stop the car and raise both arms into the air. Then somebody will drive over to assist you. While you are out on the track, we will also communicate with you through a device in your helmets So listen carefully. You'll be starting in a moment. The first car to cross the finishing line six times will be the winner. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. One. Well, Big Rig is advertised as a truck racing game in which players have to transport cargo across the U.S., avoiding the police and going faster than other drivers. But there were only three old trucks to choose from, and they looked silly. And what's more, when I started driving, the truck next to me didn't move off the starting line, so actually I had no competitors during my race. What a waste of time! Two. For 100 years, our company has been offering cars to rent for holidays, adventures, races and more. To celebrate this anniversary, we're giving four people the chance to drive one of the most expensive cars in the world, our Maserati Levante, for free. Why don't you give it a try? 
All you need to do is send a cool photo of yourself driving a car to photos at carsforrent.co.uk by the 18th of September. The four best photos will win the prize. Three. Do you want to feel like a racing car driver? Whichever type of car you like best, a classic car, a Formula One racing car or a luxury car, you'll find them in the options. The best part is that more and more cars are being added to the selection, so you'll never run out of options. You can also choose your favourite racing track and add special features when you score points. The graphics are excellent, so you will feel like you are right behind the wheel. Four. May I have your attention, please? Here's some important information for all competitors. Remember that you must remain in your cars at all times. Anyone driving into other cars or into the barriers on purpose will be removed from the competition. If you need help, drive to the side, stop the car, and raise both arms into the air. Then somebody will drive over to assist you. While you are out on the track, we will also communicate with you through a device in your helmets, so listen carefully. You'll be starting in a moment. The first car to cross the finishing line six times will be the winner. Zadanie trzecie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. One. How was your trip to Japan? Oh, it was fantastic. Did you use the public transport there? I've heard that Japanese trains are great. I did, actually. But you won't believe what happened. Japanese train companies are very strict when it comes to timetables, but the train I was on departed a bit too soon. To my surprise, in the evening I heard the train company spokesperson make a statement about it on the news. Oh, really? On the news? What did he say? He said they were very sorry for what had happened and would make sure that in future all trains would leave precisely according to the timetable. Just imagine, my train left just 20 seconds ahead of schedule. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. How was your trip to Japan? Oh, it was fantastic. Did you use the public transport there? I've heard that Japanese trains are great. I did, actually. But you won't believe what happened. Japanese train companies are very strict when it comes to timetables, but the train I was on departed a bit too soon. To my surprise, in the evening, I heard the train company spokesperson make a statement about it on the news. Oh, really? On the news? What did he say? He said they were very sorry for what had happened and would make sure that in future all trains would leave precisely according to the timetable. Just imagine, my train left just 20 seconds ahead of schedule. Two. Have you ever burnt something while cooking? That's what happened to a woman in Sydney who
who decided to heat up some chicken for dinner. But what she didn't know was that her husband had put $15,000 in the oven. So when she heated the chicken, she accidentally burnt the money. Her husband got it for selling his sports car two weeks before. He thought the money would be safe in the oven because his wife almost never used it. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Have you ever burnt something while cooking? That's what happened to a woman in Sydney who decided to heat up some chicken for dinner. But what she didn't know was that her husband had put $15,000 in the oven. So when she heated the chicken, she accidentally burnt the money. Her husband got it for selling his sports car two weeks before. He thought the money would be safe in the oven because his wife almost never used it. Three. You love playing basketball, don't you? So how did it all start? When my parents moved to the USA, I was nine. I wasn't happy at my new school because I didn't know anybody. So my parents told me to think of a hobby where I could get to know other children. I chose basketball because it was a team game. I was quite fit and I got into it immediately. Soon I became very good at it, but I never thought about basketball as a possible career. It was just fun and I'm still in contact with the people I met on the court years ago. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. You love playing basketball, don't you? So how did it all start? When my parents moved to the USA, I was nine. I wasn't happy at my new school because I didn't know anybody. So my parents told me to think of a hobby where I could get to know other children. I chose basketball because it was a team game. I was quite fit and I got into it immediately. Soon I became very good at it. But I never thought about basketball as a possible career. It was just fun, and I'm still in contact with the people I met on the court years ago. Four. Harry Crane from New Jersey has finally returned a poetry book to his school library. He borrowed it when he was a student 53 years ago. Recently, Harry discovered the book by chance when he was cleaning his basement, and he immediately went to give it back. Normally, students pay 10 cents per day when they keep a book for too long, so that would be about $2,000 for a book returned 19,345 days late. However, the school librarian decided that Harry's case was special, and she did not charge him for the late book. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Harry Crane from New Jersey has finally returned a poetry book to his school library. He borrowed it when he was a student 53 years ago. Recently, Harry discovered the book by chance when he was cleaning his basement, and he immediately went to give it back. Normally, students pay 10 cents per day when they keep a book for too long, so that would be about $2,000 for a book returned 19,345 days late. However, the school librarian decided that Harry's case was special, and she did not charge him for the late book. Five. What's the problem? I've got a flat tyre. I drove out of my garage, and after about five minutes, I felt that something was wrong. I stopped in a supermarket car park to check the tyre, and then came straight here. I hope you didn't damage the wheel. How far did you drive? Well, just under a mile. Can you help me? 
I'm a bit busy at the moment, so you will have to leave your car here for a day. One of my workers can take you where you want to go. That'll be great, thanks. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. What's the problem? I've got a flat tire. I drove out of my garage and after about five minutes, I felt that something was wrong. I stopped in a supermarket car park to check the tire and then came straight here. I hope you didn't damage the wheel. How far did you drive? Well, just under a mile. Can you help me? I'm a bit busy at the moment, so you will have to leave your car here for a day. One of my workers can take you where you want to go. That'll be great, thanks. Six. I'm standing here with the sheriff of Marion City. It's here that an unusual object which was stolen last year has just been found. Sheriff, can you tell our listeners the whole story? Well, we've managed to find a stolen hot air balloon. The owner reported it missing over a year ago during the Hot Air Balloon Festival in Reno, Nevada. We found it yesterday at the World Air Games, which were organized in our town. What did you do after you found it? We put it on a truck and transported it back to its owner. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. I'm standing here with the sheriff of Marion City. It's here that an unusual object which was stolen last year has just been found. Sheriff, can you tell our listeners the whole story? Well, we've managed to find a stolen hot air balloon. The owner reported it missing over a year ago during the Hot Air Balloon Festival in Reno, Nevada. We found it yesterday at the World Air Games, which were organized in our town. What did you do after you found it? We put it on a truck and transported it back to its owner. Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął.